hello guys welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing well for those who are new here my name is mona or being one in africa so on today's video and please consider subscribing <laughs> yeah on today's video i'll be talking about 14 tmi feminine hygiene hacks to get rid of bv and other fasts those who are wondering what BV means, it's bacterial vaginosis. Yeah. That is the most embarrassing feminine issues that most women have suffered from. Yeah, I tell you. I've suffered, but I've followed, I'll tell you the acts. Yeah. So, it's for educational purposes. And disclaimer, I'm not a nurse or any medical practitioner, so okay, let's go to how do you know you have BV and when you need to go to a primary caregiver. So I'll start with the signs and symptoms. So first is fishy smell. Yeah, you guys, you have a fishy smell, it smells like fish most especially after sexual intercourse i have notes here so don't mind me i'm when well, i'm looking down here yeah so when you have a bad you notice such fishy smell mostly or well, especially when you after sexual intercourse please that's the time you're going you know you have an infection a bacterial infection and you're supposed to go and see a primary caregiver yeah another one is another symptom is greenish discharge yeah so guys our, la our lady v i'll call it victoria <laughs> yeah our lady v yeah it's our Lady V is a self-cleaning machine. <laughs> yeah, it cleans itself. We as women produce a lot of discharge and that is normal. Yeah, cause as I said earlier, it cleans itself and with the hormones and other systems help clean our V area to keep it fresh and clean yeah so it comes problematic when the details it has bad odor yeah different color a normal discharge you will see white or clear but when it's a different color it will either be greenish brownish yellowish yeah so when you develop different colors that i've mentioned just go to the doctor yeah because it's an infection yeah another a very strong and pleasant smell what alerts you that you have an infection yeah another one is a burning sensation that doesn't go away and itching you just scratch yourself and you know that feeling you feel nice when you keep on needing it, that's bad. That is an infection. Just go to the primary practitioner and you'll be given medicine. Wear breathable underwears. I know thongs are sexy, but they're not comfortable. So, and bacteria really love and thrive where there is a warm area yeah so i would recommend the cotton underwears and there are some cuties but most of them don't like because they look like granny's underwears yeah so if you notice that you you love wearing thongs and you notice that you have these symptoms they recur just do away with that or you can go even command or go naked mostly at night when you sleep you can please leave that area to be fresh and breathable yeah 
another act is stop stop douching that is the worst thing you can do to yourself and our lady v <laughs> has ph so that ph have to be balanced yeah in order for things to work properly so ladies when you're douching you're really messing with the natural ph yeah so stay stay away from douching please another hack is wash your hands always wash your hands and your hands needs to be clean before touching your v area yeah the reason is our hands carry a lot of bacteria you can touch you touch everything you can touch the surface you do everything with your hands please guys always wash your hands yeah they carry a lot of bacteria so when you're going to do anything just wash your hands yeah another hack is take a bath or shower or some cleaning method on that area i know most ladies don't like shower <laughs> it's the truth so if you don't please just even two minutes just wash that area because we sweat we have discharge and that place really need to be breathable another hack is this i know most of most ladies even young ladies don't know this but you have to wipe your v area from front to back using a tissue or anything you can even use water yeah it's very clean front is considered clean while back dirty you that's the reason why you get infection and the infection recurs because you're bumping from back to front so please start doing from front to back another one is limit amount of processed food yeah cup these beverages yeah because bacteria really thrive on sugar so avoid them another one is don't don't wear wet underwears you can go swimming or you sweat down there a lot so so don't stay too long wearing wet underwears so or working or you're working out because some because a wet area provides a moist and warm environment for the bacteria to thrive so and uh, please avoid them in this hack i'll always use to use i'll advise you to use the panty liners yeah they are very thin you can cut it anywhere so another one is dent antibiotics uh, make sure you use antibiotics when necessary another one is iud a lot of those things don't agree with your body some of them don't agree with us so when if you notice you are on iud and you are you you have a recurrence of these signs and symptoms of bv you can go to the to your doctor you can go to a doctor and see if you can get a different kind that works for your body i'm not against any contraceptives you can i'm just saying because it's true some of my friends have tried and they have changed their to a different kind of contraceptive and it has worked for them and they don't notice what they have so please guys if you notice if you have a iud and you have these symptoms recur, keep recurring you can go and be checked and be put in a different on a different kind of contraceptive yeah another one is protect yourself this one i really advise ladies please protect yourself if you have multiple partners or your sexual partner try and protect yourself yeah that's all i can say another one is clean your toys for those people who have toys make sure you clean them before and after use them and even if if you have used it and you've cleaned it before and 
after when you start if you want to use it again please do clean again because bacteria thrives there yeah and last but not least hydration 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 increase your fluid intake most people don't love water but me I like i love water i can drink water even if it's cold season or any time of the day so please if you don't like you can mix with you can mix your water with lime yeah you can make sure you are drinking lots of lots of lots and lots of fluids healthy beverages uh, you can I can I can eat fruits that have water I don't know if I'm making sense like watermelon it has water you can have it even sugar cane here people love it yeah and if you see that you don't like water you can I, I there was a friend of mine who was advised to eat a lot of jugu with peanuts so that you can she can get thirsty and drink water and she's she's now okay so with that being said i hope you enjoyed your video you enjoyed this video and you have learned something so thank you for watching if you like to donate or support to this channel i'll, I'll write down my paypal donation link on the de description down below so guys it's getting very expensive for me <laughs> the inter internet bundles yeah internet is very expensive here yeah so if you'd love i'd really appreciate it thank you guys bye